When I first heard it, it scared me. The scratching. A soft, scraping sound echoing in the sounds of my darkened bedroom, right above my head. It would barely be audible during the morning when I was on my computer or reading a book. But at night, it was the only sound I could hear. As I laid under my covers, the sheets pulled as far as possible in order to take in as much warmth as I could. I would still be shivering. All because of that damn scratching. The soft raking to me it sounded like rats scurrying around, devouring a scrap of food. It made bedtime tense, unnerving. I feared even so much as glanced up to see what it was. <laughs> a monster would attack me and tear me apart in grisly fashion. Ultimately, this fear was irrational. One night, I, I finally gained the courage to take a glance. Slowly, I lifted myself from my pillow, cautiously turning around to take a peek. Immediately, any fear I felt evaporated when I saw what the source of the scratching was. It was the warning label attached to the end of the string for the blinds in my bedroom. Wind from my ceiling fan was slightly blowing on it, making it brush against the wall as the string stretched down past the blinds. <laughs> I felt so dumb. I was already in high school and, and a fucking piece of plastic raking along a wall scared me. I really was a wuss. After that, the scratching became a sort of comfort to me. Now that I knew what it was, the, the unknown part, something that is considered scary by most of humanity, was no longer unknown. It was familiar. A sound I was used to comforted me. I began to find it soothing and would begin to find my eyes growing heavy as I laid in my bed my mind blank, listening to scratching and the whirring of my ceiling fan, letting our combined noise lull me to sleep. It was nice. One night, as usual, I laid in bed, the covers pulled up to my chin, my ceiling fan blaring and the scratching doing its usual. As I felt myself about to go under, the scratching stopped. That wasn't unusual. I don't know what the reason was, but I'm sure the fan wouldn't be hitting it with its wind at every single moment. Maybe my pillow blocked it? Maybe the wind sometimes didn't hit in the right place and something like that. Soon, though, the scratching started up again, as it always did. Right when I could feel the process of going to sleep coming to completion, I realized something. There was something different about the scratching. Usually it was slow, closer to light raking. It was also quiet only being audible to me due to how silent it was in the bedroom at night. Now, though, it was louder. More erratic. Not only that, but it seemed to be increasing in volume, becoming more and more grating. No longer did it sound like a, a scurrying rat it now sounded like someone was scraping a knife along the wall. Alarmed, I, I threw off my covers, flipping onto my stomach to see... 
two long, bony gray arms, one gripping the warning label in its hand to keep it in place, the other raking its sharp, almost knife-like nails along the drywall of the wall near my head, leaving deep scratches.